So my lab has been interested in creating stem cell models and neuronal models of uh, neuropsychiatric disorders. And we've done so using reprogramming technology that we've learned through our uh, collaborations with the Harvard Stem Cell uh, Institute. And our interest is doing so in complex genetic disorders. But in order to, to quote Conrad uh, Hochlinger, uh, learn to uh, walk before uh, running, uh, we decided to take a monogenic Mendelian disorder, and that's Fragile X syndrome. And our reasons for doing so were simply because of the fact that Fragile X is actually one of the most common inherited forms of intellectual disability. It's a highly prevalent disorder then, affecting about 1 in 4,000 uh, male children. Then it's an X-linked genetic disorder, and that's where the name Fragile X comes from it. But our understanding of the pathogenesis and also our ability to treat the disorder is really, really, um, unfortunately, at a, a very primitive um, state. And so we were interested then in creating uh, neuronal models that we could study disease pathogenesis and begin to think about developing uh, new treatments for uh, the disorder. And we began the project simply by taking fibroblast lines that were uh, derived from Fragile X patients and using now classical Yamanaka factors to reprogram those into multiple induced pluripotent stem cell colonies. And that's really where the fun began in the project, because while we began this, as I said, as a simple case, we realized that we had to learn a lot more about the very basic aspects of the disorder. So we began to then establish methods for characterizing the repeat length in the disorder, the instability of the uh, repeats in the gene is sort of well known, and also to characterize some of the epigenetic phenotypes that were present in these induced pluripotent stem cells. And upon doing so, we were actually then able to validate a whole family of induced pluripotent stem cells for Fragile X syndrome and could see that actually in our Fragile X iPS cells that the FMR1 gene was actually um, silenced um, and as a result of the expanded CGG repeat. And that silencing remained then when we induced those um, cells to further differentiate into postmitotic neurons. And it was doing that differentiation that we began to reveal real differences, though, between normal healthy control lines and Fragile X patient lines. And in fact, in our work, we characterize then a significant neurodevelopmental phenotype then in the Fragile X lines, with the Fragile X lines not differentiating completely into functional healthy neurons, and then actually an increased amount of the uh, glial cells then as a consequence. And what I think was most exciting is we were able to create these phenotypes often in a miniaturized format that is subsequently now um, amenable to developing high-throughput screens. And that's one of the sort of next directions for us is to begin to um, take the phenotypes that we can observe now and try to think about how to develop a therapeutic that perhaps can reverse those phenotypes then uh, in the dish. And that's what people in the lab are working on uh, right now.